This is a fully assembled X axis, and this way, this one is the half assembled Z axis. Now I'm going to combine Z axis with my X axis. The first step to do is to put to insert this rod inside. Insert this rod into X axis. After that, I will fully focus on this unfinished ZX axis. Insert this piece inside this motor and you will hear a click sound means it is at its position. Afterwards, you can actually purchase this with the remaining part of your X Z axis. So you can actually insert, slide it in. The rod will be in this hole, fit into this hole. After it fully installed, you have to put the screw on. And this is your fully ascent X axis with your Z X axis. This is the ascent X Z axis. And this is the finished Y axis. And now I'm going to assemble these two parts together. So in order for that, these two parts combined together, this have to be fit into this channel over here. So now I'm going to fit in. This is a fully assembled X, Y, Z axis. And after you have fit your Y axis inside your Z axis, you should add this piece you should add this piece into your Y axis for stabilized purpose. This is a little trick that I want to share with you. During the installation, if you want to prevent your X axis from dropping down, you can actually add this over here so that your X axis is not going to drop. You can do the installation more easily without your X axis disturbing you. This is a fully assembled mechanical part of your 3D printer and this piece is used for stabilized purpose between your Z channel and your X channel, Y channel. Now I'm going to fit. After you fit A, you have to tighten it. Remember not to tighten so hard because the plastic parts might break easily. I'm going to insert this rod inside my X axis so that my X axis will not be falling down during printing. And this is where the part that this paper clip helps me to hold this uh, X axis. After install this rod, you can actually remove this paper clip. The next step is to install this electronics in enclosure over here. Then the screws are inside. One of the screw is outside of the box. The rest of the two are inside of the box. And the, the screws are actually attached to the channel of Y axis. On the other hand of Y channel is another electronics enclosure. There are two screws. One is at this position, the other one is here. 
Similarly, it is also attached to your Y axis. After you have installed this to electronics enclosure, the next step is to put on this heated bed. And something to take note of is that you can use paper clips to make it uh, stay at its own position. You can actually remove this so that it will not disturb the printing process. To put on before electronics wiring is this driver. It's very simple, you just put it on onto your x-axis, put it inside your x-axis and that's it. That's all about the mechanical part of a 3D printer.